does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review, another special Kickstarter review. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Can't Catch Me Olivia from Smiling Pinata Games. This is for two to four players, ages 12 and up, and it'll take about 30 to 60 minutes to play. And in Can't Catch Me Olivia, you were going to have the mean, mean, mean old Olivia in the middle of the board, and you were going to be drawing cards and playing cards, trying to keep her away from you while catching your friends at the same time. But as you draw cards, the board will start to evaporate until eventually there's not much board left and she will be catching people. Sound intriguing? Let's open it up and see how it plays. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Can't Catch Me Olivia. So first and foremost, we have our handy dandy rule cards and there's also a rule sheet. I'm not sure which one you're going to be getting. Uh, I think I like the rule cards a little bit better, but the rule sheets explain more. So um, you, you might end up getting both. I'm not quite sure. But either way, the game is very simple and it'll have you up and running in no time. One little pet peeve I will say about the rules, though. There were a couple situations where it was like, oh, wait, do I, can I do that? And it didn't really seem like it was answered in the rule booklet, but nothing that really affected gameplay too terribly much. Now, so... I've got the game board set up. What you're going to get inside the game is you're going to get cards, cards, and more cards. And then you're going to get these cubes. These cubes are only going to be used to help you keep score, so we can pretty much set them to the side. You, the first person to get to three cubes, who wins three rounds, will be the winner of the game. Now, you're going to set up a 5x5 five five grid of these cards, and these are all action cards. They're all going to have various different actions underneath them, as you can see right there. And then you're going to deal out each player one card. Now, I've got a two-player game set up. You can also have, there's a special setup for a three-player game. Uh, and there's another special set, um, there's not just another setup for a four player game where Olivia's in the middle. But you're going to set Olivia in the middle. Now, Olivia is the bad one. She's who you don't want to run into. She's mean. She's nasty. She's just, you know, grrr. you don't want to run into her. So, what you're going to do, the game is very, very simple. On your turn, what you're going to do is first you're going to look at your one card, and then you're going to draw a card that is in front of you in a row. Now, one thing I want to mention is normally when we play, we start with we would start with one character over here and one character over here. But as you can see, we can't put that character here because there's not room. So just a heads up on that. Uh, what you're going to do is you've got your one card, and then you're going to draw one card from one of the rows in front of you. So I can take one of these five cards, assuming that I am Tommy. So, you know what, he'll take this card over here, and then he's going to take a look at his two cards, and he's going to pick which one he wants to play. Uh, so this one says, swap Olivia with the nearest card away from you, or catch an unprotected player across from you. So this is a really good card because essentially what it's going to let me do is it's going to let me push Olivia over here. So you know what? I think I am going to play that because that's great. So now Olivia is not only further away from me, but she's closer to my opponent, which is fantastic. So now I'm going to put this in my discard pile, and then it will be my opponent's turn. One thing I do want to mention is these are all the cards that were not used. Uh, so you're never going to know exactly which cards are out on the board. So next, Dawn is going to pick one of these cards over here, one of these five cards here. Now, obviously, she doesn't want to take this one, because if she takes this one, then she will be unprotected. Now, if she's unprotected, that means Olivia potentially can catch her. Now, she doesn't immediately catch her. However, if I were to play a card that said catch any unprotected players that's close to Olivia or something like that, then she would catch her, and she would be out of the round, and in a two-player game, I obviously would win, and I would win a Q. But she's not going to take that card because, well, that'd be a dumb mistake. So she's going to go ahead and take this card all the way up here. And let's take a look at what she has. She has Anonymous Note. We'll play that one. Swap Olivia with the nearest card in any direction or catch an unprotected player in any direction. So she'll go ahead and she'll put that into her discard pile. And she will say, you know what? I'm going to send him... I'm going to push him right back into the middle because I don't want him that close to me. Or her that close to me. And so then it would be my turn again. Now I can pick this, 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 or this because the row has moved up. So as you can see, once all these cards were gone, I would only have four choices to do. So the, the board is going to be shrinking and Olivia is going to be at closer and closer every turn. Uh, so what's going to happen is people are going to be drawing cards and playing cards. And some of them are bad. Like, let's look, let's look at this one. Hey, uh, this one is called Hey, Hey, Get Back. Swap Olivia with the nearest card towards you or catch yourself if you are unprotected. This is where the hand management aspect of the game comes. Because if this is in your hand, you're like, oh man, this is not a good card. Uh, so you want to get rid of it, but at the same time, you can't play. Like, if she was right here, then she would catch you. 
So you have to make sure that you use this when it's not going to hurt you too much, or there's some cards that will let you swap out your hand. But anywho, you are going to continue playing uh, as many rounds as you need to until someone has accumulated three chips. Uh, three cubes, I should say. And the first person to get three cubes will be the winner of Hey, or Can't Catch Me, Olivia. And that is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Can't Catch Me, Olivia from Smiling Pinata Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side, the game is not going to be for everybody for a couple different reasons. It is two to four players, so if you got a bigger game group, it might not be for you. Also, the artwork is going to be a turn off to some people. It's got the, the childish, cartoonish kind of artwork. Definitely looks like it was aimed uh, more at the family audience, which is not going to be for everybody. Also, I will say in a four-player game, it felt like it was a lot of randomness going on. So if you don't like randomness, it might not be for you. The last con I had is that, um, I, well, it's not really a con. It says it's a micro game. I don't know if it's really a micro game. There's quite a bit of cards in there. It straddles the thin line between, is that a micro game? I don't know. But as you can tell, the box is very compact and portable. So that's not really a con. It's just a pet peeve I have. Uh, moving on, though. Uh, I enjoyed my time with Can't Catch Me Live. Both me, my wife, and the other people we played it with really did enjoy it. it. I don't know if I'd recommend playing it up to three rounds, though. I think it's normally best out of best out of three thing, but granted, that's if you're playing a two-player game. If you have more people, obviously, that's probably not feasibly possible. Uh, but what did I like about the game? I liked, I do like the compactness of it. I like the artwork. I like how simple the game was. You draw a card, and then you say, hmm, which of my two cards do I want to play? And sometimes you won't want to play either card, but then you have to make the choices. And sometimes you'll be like, man, I really want to hold on to this card, but I don't want to play this card. So despite the fact that it is a very luck-driven game, depending <clears throat> based on which cards you're drawing at which time, you still have that hand management aspect, which I do like. I think it's a very nice family weight game. Um, I think this would be great for like at a restaurant with your kids or something like that. Uh, it's portable, it's compact, it's easy to teach, easy to play, family-friendly artwork. I really will enjoy the game. It's going to have a place on my shelf. Can't catch me, Olivia, from Smiling Pinata Games. If it looks like it might be up your alley, be sure to check out the Kickstarter link below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Can't Catch Me, Olivia. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.